Uh, transferred in from Cal if you're at UCLA. How's that whole transition? Two UCs, pretty similar. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, def definitely similar, but everything's been great. Uh, no complaints at all. Very grateful. Uh, I think I was able to adapt very well, so very grateful. What went into your decision to transfer and then pick UCLA? Um, just better opportunities. Uh, still a great school, uh, great program, so easy decision to come here. Ken Norton, how factor in that decision? Yeah, great coach. Great coach for sure. He's got me a lot better, so I'm grateful. What, just, are, what are some of the things that he's helped you get better at so far? Um, just uh, no hesitations, just reading my keys. Uh, just, just constant reminders of how, how to be a good ball player. Just got to get a rundown on height, weight, body fat, all of that, if you could. 6'3", uh, 250, right around there. 250? Yes, sir. Have you lost a little weight since last season? Uh, maybe like three or four pounds. Around there, four to five pounds. Uh, I think I'm at like 13. Maybe. 13. Okay. Yes, sir. Coach Lynn, uh, coming from the NFL, what has he brought that uh, has been kind of new to you? Um, I think just uh, the level of intensity we need to have, the, the consistency that we need to have, and how day of practice should be every day to set the tone and come out fast and just win in, in anything and everything. So it's been awesome getting to know him more. Does uh, having you know, Jay Michael here with you and going through the same experience transferring over, did, did that help at all? Yeah, it's actually been really funny because me and Jay Mike, uh, actually where we came from, we got really close at Cal. We used to work out a lot together um, in the in the dorms, literally. Uh, so it's been awesome just being able to both get better and compete at the same time. So that's been awesome. Did uh, one influence the other on coming over? Or? I, I kind of put a little word in, you know, when, after I found out he uh, left as well. So I tried my best. And, I, I guess we can say it worked. You did your part. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. During that UCLA game at the end of the season last year, is that when the seed was sort of planted? Were you thinking about it at all then, or did it come later? Yeah, I had some thoughts prior prior to that. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can say so. How's it been getting to know the position? How different is it from where you were playing? You are playing inside of Cal also. Mm -hmm. How different has it been just the position and the what happens? What's going on playing inside here at UCLA? Oh, I think it's very similar. I think being able to practice against Coach Kelly has been awesome. A very great coach. So uh, seeing more of a NFL style playbook, and then the guys in the room are making me so much better. I'm mean, being able to compete and learn from everybody else and just soak up knowledge. Yeah, what is that like working with Darius and Chad? It's awesome. It's awesome. Those guys are awesome. Great players off the field. Great players in the uh, film room. And just overall have great conversations that all have us as better men. Coach Kelly was talking this morning about how important the depth is at linebacker because you guys can do so much else on special teams, stuff like that. Um, what do you see? What do you, how do you see your role? Coming in and contributing for the team. Uh, just come out and play, be a ball player. You know, just help the team win any way. So special teams, whatever it is. How did you like that uh, ninja warrior drill you guys did, I think, two practices ago? That was funny. Coach Gore makes it fun to play a ball, you know. Uh, just competing still at the same time, so it was really funny. And uh, it, it was still football getting you better at the same time. What make you think you want to go on the show? Is that again? The American Ninja show? Show? Yeah, so it's funny. He was actually talking about that. I guess so. We might as well try it out now. We're in the summer. Uh, but yeah, that was funny. Thank you. All right. I appreciate you. So the spring's over. Give us a little recap assessment of how you think the team looks and how you think you did. Um, as a team, man, it's just fun been playing with all the guys, learning the offense, learning, getting to know my teammates, but this is a different type of team I've been on. You know, I came from a place and now I see in this team, it's just a whole new perspective and I'm loving how the team works together and also how the team's helping me grow as a player. So it's all, all pluses here. Uh, talk a little bit about that in details. Like what, what were some of the differences in this program compared to the last one? Um, a big, big thing was just how Coach Kelly really is, uh, really cares about the players, cares about the guys, and you know, learning how to the defense not to always take to the ground and like just you know save our save each other, but then also the high tempo, high pace, you know, Coach Kelly offense. So getting used to always get back up the ball, running from station or running from period to period, it's just you know been a cool transition and just it's been getting me in shape too. So. Those experiences from guys like Jalen Davies and guys like that when you were trying to make your decision. Oh, uh, was big. Jalen was always I was always close to Jalen. 
And, you know, he was one of the big guys that, you know, when I was on my OV here, he was one of the guys who was like, make the move, make the move, you gotta come here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I had, I kind of had this place in heart, like I, I was, it was big out of coming out of high school and I just knew this was gonna be the right place for me, especially since, you know, I have a bunch of guys that I know that are here too. So were, were they in your, was UCLA in your top five or, or something coming out of high school? Or? Yeah, they were. How's Coach Ferris been influenced on in bringing you here and recruiting, but also since you've now experienced spring practice with him? Um, I'm, Coach Ferris is probably the most, you know, real 100 guy you can meet. Like, when I came on my OV, he was the same way he is now. High pace, like, shoot you straight. You know, great guy all around, but, you know, can get on me, you know, but also, you know, love me up too. So he's been real with me, and I really love that, so. What are your thoughts on the uh, just overall depth of the tight end position here? It's awesome. It's, it's fun playing with a bunch of guys that are good. Um, HUD has been a great just like mentor, just leaning on him to, you know, teach me all the ways of the offense because, you know, Coach Kelly's probably been the hardest offense I've had to learn. And it's, you know, it's been great having guys like, you know, HUD, Carson has been also really big with, you know, helping me out, Jack, the whole room. Like, it's just, I bonded really well with them. So it's just like, it's awesome. We hang out outside of the football field and it's just, it's a great, it's a great room. So Dante Moore, you know, he, you guys could have been both at, at Oregon and now you're both here. Uh, what's your impression of him as a 17 year old quarterback? Unreal. Um, I've had a lot of th quarterbacks thrown to me, and it's it's he's going to be the next big thing coming out of college, guaranteed. Any other impressions with the other quarterbacks too? Like let's say Garbers. Um, I actually knew Garbers coming out of high school too. I love throwing. I love all our quarterbacks. It's it's what's going to be so good coming out of fall. It's going to be one of the guys, and it's going to be good because it's so much competition. They all love on each other up like I was pretty close with Colin and they just everyone goes at it in that room and so it's going to make the room better and whoever comes out of it no doubt it's going to take us all the way so